continue with the example and since we have added two numbers now this value which is 4 and 3 you are defining these values now let's say you want to take this input from the user so you want you will ask user to enter two values and then user will give you two values which is 5 and 6 then you have to add those values and you will print so for that what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll create these variables and will not assign any value right and instead of using two lines here we can write only one line so we can say int i comma j so we don't have to write this line here so we can define we can declare all your variables in one line of of similar of similar types we can even define we can even declare k here okay we don't have to declare it again on the site simple and one more thing what happens if i directly run this code let me remove all the comments what happens if i directly run this code i have not assigned any value to i and j so let's see what happens so if you run this code it will still say build succeed it will give you this input value of i which is some a very big number and the value of j is again a very big number and it returns a very big number and why is the case because in C, when you have these variables, it will directly get, if, it, if you're not specifying the value, it will take a default value or what you say, the garbage value. Now when you talk about garbage value, uh, it's a value. So let's say when you create a variable, so from your memory, it will take a small location and from, on the, in that location, if you already have a value, it will fetch that value. That is a garbage value. Simple. And now if you run this again, you will get same output let's use one more diff or some different variable so let's say we have uh, let's say a also and let's print the value of even a and let's say a and if you run this you'll be getting a different value for a which is zero yeah maybe you might get a different value which is for let's say you say b and you are printing b every time you'll be getting a different value Fortunately, we're getting zero, but it, it, we are getting a garbage values here. Now, let's assign a value. Now, this this time will take values from user. Now, how to uh, how to ask user? So we'll say printf. So when you want to show something to user, so we have to use printf. And here we'll print enter two values. So this will prompt user to enter two values. That means we need to accept the input also, right? Now, how to accept? So to print something, we use printf and to take values, we need to use scanf. So to print, we use printf and to take the value, we use scanf. Now in this scanf, you have to specify, okay, I want to take the input. I will take your input, but where to save the input? So we need to specify i. So you have to take the input from user and save it in i. But i is a variable, right? And when you use a scanf, it will always ask you for the address of i. Example, whenever you shop online, you want to buy something you will specify your name but you you want a delivery at your home right so delivery not will not be in your hand it will be at, at your home so we need to specify the address in the same way to specify address in scanf we have to use ampersand sign so this ampersand sign will give you the address of a variable okay and we need to also define the type of the value so the value type will be of integer so we have to say specify person d so whenever you say person d it is int type so we are getting input for i for j we can also use scanf and then we can specify person d here and comma ampersand j so we'll take input from user now and we'll add those values let's run this so it is asking for two values one is let's say four and five the output is four and five is oh what's the other i'm using one more person oh, sorry sorry for that let's run again let's say nine and eight this time so you're getting nine plus eight is 17. so we are taking input from user simple and one more change i want to print this the, the, this thing which is program ended with execute exit, exit code as zero i want it to go on new line so whenever you want to print something and you want to go on new line we can simply say slash n slash n is a special symbol in c which will take your it will take your cursor to a new line 
Okay, let me show you the output. So it says 8 and 5, which is 13. So you can see the, it, it will take your cursor to a new line to print this. We can also do this for enter two values. You can see I'm, I'm entering the value on the same line. And if you want to uh, if you want it on new line, we can simply say slash n. And it says okay, enter two values. You can see the cursor is he here now. It is 8 and 9, it is 17. Simple. So we have slash n for new line. We also have some other symbols. We have slash b for backspace. Example, if instead of using slash n, if I use slash, I will do that in next video. That will be better, right? So yeah, so that's uh, that's how you are, you have, you have to take input from user using scanf. So that's it. Thanks for watching.